Today is the fourth Sunday of Easter. Please clarify, move, or smile to your neighbor. We ask that you please wear your mask and maintain social distancing at all times, as well as silencing your phone and prepare your hearts to celebrate the sacred liturgy. Today's second collection is for Catholic Home Mission Appeal. If you do not have envelopes and could and would like to donate, we have a box on the pressure table. Our Sunday readings today tell us the Good Shepherd gathers us and makes us one. Let us rejoice in God's goodness. Our celebrant is not seen the Bible. Jesus, our good shepherd, loves us so deeply. He would always be there for us. So wherever in our lives this morning we need his blessing, his healing, his peace, let us open our hearts to it. Jesus, good shepherd, you laid down your life for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, good shepherd, you search for us when we are lost. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, good shepherd, you will never abandon us. Lord, have mercy. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, Leaders of the people, people and elders, if you are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely by what, he, what means he was saved, then all of you and all of the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. St. John. Beloved, 
See what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we, we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. The word of the Lord. not a shepherd, and whose sheep are not his own, sees a wolf coming, and leaves the sheep, and runs away, and the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay, and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must leave, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. That is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Our scripture readings this morning strongly suggest to us that the most significant moment in life after life itself is the moment that you and I were baptized. Our second reading this morning told us that we are God's children now. And that was possible only because we were baptized. We really and truly became members of God's family. Our first reading this morning told us that there is no salvation in anyone else except in Jesus Christ. And it is through our baptism that you and I have established a real and living relationship with Him. And so it's important for us to ask ourselves, especially in today in light of the readings we've just listened to, how do I understand baptism? How do I regard baptism in terms of its importance in my overall life. 
Do we see it? Does there be one more church ceremony now, maybe in the distant past? Or do we see it as the beginning of something great? The beginning of an important and vital relationship with God that extends into the present. Scripture, especially the writings of St. Paul, certainly describe baptism in terms of entering into a personal relationship with Jesus Christ through his death and resurrection. And so the important issue is not simply having knowledge of <clears throat> baptism, but rather experiencing the reality of the new life you and I received in Christ. In today's reading, first reading, notice how Peter spoke about Jesus being the cornerstone and being the only source of salvation. And as you listen to that reading, you can sense that Peter he believed that from the bottom of his heart. Peter was proclaiming Christ boldly despite powerful opposition from religious leaders. But he was performing also great miracles <clears throat> through the name of Jesus. And for Peter, the power and the presence of Jesus were the most real things in all of his life. One well-known writer observed that this awareness of the presence and the power of Jesus Christ has been central in the lives of great Christians down through the centuries. And this is how he describes it. It's really beautiful. They have realized he is their best friend, a faithful one who will never let them down. The friendship with Christ is that in which all other friendships are rooted. And so it's important for us in light of today's scripture readings to ask ourselves some important questions. How often do I think about my baptism and the new life I have received? Am I experiencing the power and the presence of Christ in my most important relationships, in my home, at work, in the daily grind of life. What step do I need to take this week to enter more deeply into that reality? Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from True God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him in all things for many. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under conscious Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and he rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, 
for prestigious with the Father and the Son, for with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through our hearts. I believe in one, one the holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. We are reminded today that you and I are lucky enough to have a shepherd who knows our needs and listens to us when we speak to him. So let us once again ask him to bless us, bless our families, and bless our world. For Pope Francis, the Church's Bishop and Pastors, and all who shepherd the people of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord On this World Day of Prayers for Vocation, we pray that teens and young people will overcome fear of unworthiness and truly consider a vocation to priesthood or religious life. We pray to the Lord. Lord For leaders of all nations, that they will strive for peace and justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. For our religious sisters and brothers, be examples to attract many young people to give their lives to Jesus and to all. Catholics struggling to discern their vocation, that the Holy Spirit give them wisdom and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. For the end of the COVID-19 pandemic and all the sick, may they be filled with God's grace, receive healing, and be surrounded by a supportive and loving community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the dearly departed, especially for Ivan Demas, for whom this Mass is offered, may the good Lord grant them mercy, forgiveness, and full blessings in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we gather here each Sunday to say thanks to you for the gift of Jesus, our Good Shepherd, and to remember that he is still powerfully with us each day of our lives, that he longs to enter more deeply into our lives especially in those areas of our lives where we feel dissatisfied, where we experience unrest, where we worry too much. Open our hearts to his presence today, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat>
pray with my sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted of the God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord sacrifice and the Lord Grant we pray, O Lord, that we may always delight in these Paschal mysteries so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us out your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. At all times to attain you, O Lord, but in this time of all, the Lord you be yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, Every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. <laughs> of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis Arco, Myron our Bishop, all of the clergy, and all of your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, that Saint Joseph responds with the Blessed Apostles, and with all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and power, the glory of yours, not forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have from my word. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastors, the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning. My name is Elaine Bockley, and I am part of the newly formed Ministry of Vocations here at St. Bernadette's Catholic Church. Today is the World Day of Prayer for Vocations. On behalf of our pastor and leadership team, I want to thank all of you for being a prayer warrior. I invite all of you to express gratitude for all those who responded to the call of God in our community and lift our hearts in prayer for them. These young men and women have heard and listened to God's voice and took up his loving cross to continue the mission, a mission of serving the Lord in the church as priests, deacons, and religious and consecrated persons. Also, please pray for our family community as good and faithful husbands and wives in the sacrament of marriage and most importantly, for those who are single, to discern the will of God at all times and to serve the community to make a difference in the world. Thanks for your support and your love. May God bless us all. At this time, I invite you to watch this short video to honor our priests and consecrated members of our community.
And the good news is that we hopefully have th four more seminarians entering the seminary in August and September, which would bring our total number to seven. Considering we have yeah. nobody there three years ago, we're doing great. Just keep up the prayers. And again, I'd like to thank you for being here during these difficult months. Um, and it's time to really get the rest of our community back here. Things are much, much safer in San Juan County. I think the vaccines are really beginning to work and cutting down on the rate of infection. Uh, some people haven't been here for 12 months. Uh, it's time to reach out. Reach out to your family members. Reach out to your friends. Just encourage them to come back. They truly will listen to you. And please stand for your blessing. <coughs> the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia.